Hi everyone, this is going to be a video on how to selectively choose which monitors to use with Microsoft Remote Desktop. By default, the application will use all your monitors when you turn on multi-monitor support. So if you need to use applications on both the local and remote machine, you will have to be doing a lot of back and forth between them. The method I'm going to show you will allow you to select the specific monitors you want to use for remote desktop and leave the rest for your local applications. This method is only useful if you have three or more monitors. So let's begin. Open up the remote desktop application. In the text box labeled Computer, type the hostname or IP address of the remote machine you want to log into. Next, on the bottom left of the application, there is an arrow labeled Show Options. Click on it. Now, click on the Display tab. Then, click on the checkbox labeled Use All My Monitors for the Remote Session. Now, click on the General tab. We now want to save these settings as a preset. Click the Save As button. Navigate to a folder you want to save the preset to. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Give it a name and then click Save. Now, close the remote desktop application. Next, we want to get the ID numbers of each of your monitors. We will need these IDs later. On your keyboard, press the Windows key and R at the same time. This will bring up the Run dialog box. Now, in the Open Text box, type MSTSC space forward slash L and hit Enter. You will get a small window with IDs for each of your monitors. My first monitor is ID 0, my second is ID 1, and my third monitor is ID 12. Make note of all these IDs. If you want to confirm the order of your monitors, right-click on the desktop, then click on Display Settings. Here, you can see how your monitors are arranged and the order of them. Like mentioned before, my monitor with ID 0 is the first monitor, the monitor with ID 1 is the second monitor, and the monitor with ID 12 is the third one. Let's now close these windows. The next step is to edit the preset we just created in a text editor. I'm going to use Windows built-in Notepad Editor. So open it up. Now click File, Open, navigate to the folder where you saved the remote desktop preset to. I saved mine on my desktop. It's not showing up, so on the bottom right of this window, change the drop down to All Files. The file now shows up. Double click on it. You now see all the settings for this remote desktop session. We are going to ignore the current text that's here and instead add some new text. At the top of the document, add this text Selected monitors, colon s, colon x, comma y. But, you want to replace the X and Y letters with the IDs of the monitors you want to use. So use the IDs you took note of before. In my case, the text will look like this. Selected monitors, colon S, colon zero, comma one. If you forgot to take note of the IDs, just bring up the window that shows them again. So here you can see I'm using the first and second monitors for remote desktop and ignoring my third monitor, which has an ID of 12. You're done. Now save and close the text file. Now, when you run Remote Desktop, you want to navigate to the folder with the preset you created. Double click on it. Log into your remote machine, and when the Remote Desktop application is full screen, it will only use the monitors you specified. Here is an example use case. I have three monitors plugged into my PC being used to extend my desktop. I want to have my music and podcast applications playing on my left monitor so I can easily search for new songs or playlists without minimizing my remote desktop application. Now, I'll double-click on the preset created. Log into my remote machine, and you can see that only the two monitors on the right are being used for the remote machine. My music is still on the left monitor. And we're done! Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll speak to you next time.